be unlikely to see post-polio symptoms developing sooner than 15 years after the acute polio. And more typically, it's about 30 years after the acute polio. Um, and it can be 40 or even 50 years. Um, but the average is about 30 years. Pretty much every survivor of acute polio has a period of stable performance, you know, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. And then a proportion of them, 40%, 50%, may begin to experience new symptoms um, of several types that we then call post-polio syndrome. The lag is felt to be due to two things. Number one, people who have neurologic disorders, neurologic insults early in life, childhood stroke, Guillain-Barre syndrome, and have recovery, cerebral palsy, where they're born with a birth defect and, and reach whatever level of, of performance they will have, do well until they reach a point where aging kicks in. All of us begin to age in our nervous system, you know, from about the age of 35 or 40 on. Um, we're losing nerve cells. Um, the nervous system can't repair itself as well. So initially, it was thought that post-polio, as you know, survivors of CP, survivors of other childhood, you know, insults, were just experiencing an overlap of the effects of aging. And because all of those groups were starting out with fewer nerve cells, you know, lost to polio, lost to stroke, lost to CP they had less to lose before they would begin to show problems. The average age, healthy aging person will usually begin to notice more weakness, fatigability, other changes, you know, often not until the age of 80. So that the aging process could be going on for 40 years before they actually begin to notice a change in performance. If you're starting out with less reserve, then you're going to notice those changes in performance sooner. And, and this, I think, was the feeling that, you know, post-polio was really a, a disease of aging that was accelerated or moved up in time. However, in the last 10 years, a lot of work has been done on the effects of the immune system as it might influence polio symptoms, um, the health of the neuromuscular um, nerve and muscle groups. So they've found that there are signs of chronic inflammation in the nervous system. They've seen inflammatory cells. They've found inflammatory chemicals in the spinal fluid. They have found protein debris left over from the original polio virus, which may have triggered the immune system to have a smoldering immune reaction that has probably been going on since the original polio. And it has taken this long, 30 years, to begin to erode um, the, the nerves and muscles that, that are affected by it. So we're now weighing age-related factors, which is a whole area of research in itself, and immune system factors, which is kind of the new area of, of research. Mm -hmm.